Hello guys, welcome to JD Bots. In this video, we are gonna see how to connect your Azure bot to Jira Cloud. So those of you who don't know what is Jira, Jira is a software which plans, track and manages the agile and software development projects. Fine? Okay. I have created a bot in Azure portal using the echo bot template. So let me just test it in the web chat. So it will reply whatever I give the text. I have given hi, so it is gonna reply as hi. Okay. Now let's start creating the apps in Jira. So I hope you have already signed up. Once you sign up, you'll have to create a project and I have created the project called as AI Conversational. Inside my projects, I'll be creating the apps. So this is the dashboard page you'll be getting for your project. And let me create. First, you'll have to enable the development feature of your Jira software to enable it click on apps and manage apps and this is the page you will be getting and click on the settings and here you will have to enable the development mode after you click on enable apply it once you apply it you will see the option upload app since I have already enabled it that's why I'm able to see if at all it is not enabled then you won't be able to see the upload app feature fine okay so let's get started first of all we'll have to install the ng rock okay before that let's come to the prerequisites you'll have to get the node.js version 10 or above okay since I have already installed the node I'm gonna check whether it is installed or not using the node version and my node version is 12.18 oh now I'm going to install ngrock ngrock allows us to make our app available to internet using tunlink that is HTTPS okay so let me just install it npm install it has installed let's check whether it has installed successfully you're gonna type ngrock help so it is giving me all the topics related to ngrock what all things i can do with it if at all if it is showing like uh, ngrock command is not recognized then you have to reinstall it again fine uh, let's uh, quickly create a directory where we'll keep our chatbot inside it like we have to create a application a web application and we'll have to host it in the Jira cloud and that web application will consist of our chatbot so let me create a directory to keep all my project related files in it yeah 
so let's quickly go to our directory and create some files so this is the directory I have created and let me create a file and the file which we are creating is called the descriptor of Jira that is this kind of file which tells the Jira cloud that what type of application we are building and it contains all the details about URL authentication and so on okay and the file name is okay let's let's just fill the content first I've already got the sample data and I'm gonna copy it and paste it in the new file so the name of my app is hello world I'm gonna change it to Jira chatbot this is a sample I have taken from the Jira cloud documentation for creating the apps I am gonna just edit few changes and we can get started this base URL will be changing it later when we'll connect our app over the internet fine and uh, this is the HTML page which will be shown and I'm gonna change the name Jira bot and let's change the key as well and this is the application name which will appear in the Jira cloud as you can see once you click on apps so here you can see it greeting I was trying with the hello world application and uh, this is the app which I have created so this is the greeting so let's change the name to my Jira bot and we are gonna save this as let me quickly copy the name Atlantian connect dot JSON okay so here you can see the JSON file is created now now let me add some HTML content so this is the sample is available from the documentation I'll make changes to this file only okay let me first check what name I have given for the file it is jirabot.html and here let me just change it to jira chatbot so this is the heading which I am putting for my chatbot this is the heading of my web page and after this let us add the chatbot we go to the channels in Azure portal and we go to the embed codes 
we copy the iframe and we paste it over here and uh, we are going to add the secret key as well which will allow us to communicate with the chatbot Okay, now let me save it as Jira bot dot HTML. So let me delete this file. Now we have our project structure ready that is atlassian connect dot json file that is called the descriptor and our html page cool now let me open the command line from this directory now we'll have to host our application locally first then we'll host our application over the internet to host it on a local server, we'll have to install HTTP server. Fine. So, so this command HTTP server on the port eight thousand. So our application will be hosted on this port. So starting up the server and this is the URL where our application is hosted locally. So I have copied it. Let me paste it over here. And you see this both of both the file is hosted it. So when you click on the Atlassian connect, you'll see the JSON file and when you click on the Jira chatbot you see the Jira chatbot and the chatbot is available over here you can chat it from here as well I have given hi so it is saying me hello and welcome echo hi so our web application is ready this is a sample web application just for the understanding how to connect the Azure bot to the Jira. Fine. Now we'll run how to make our app available to the internet. So, yeah, you open another command line and type this command ngrok http 8000 so whatever app is running on 8000 port it will be available over the internet it's online so this uh, url http and https url is available you copy this url and see it here see now this can be accessed anywhere from the internet this URL so this is my HTML page and this is my JSON file okay now this URL has to be provided in the Atlassian connect dot JSON file. Let me open it and replace the base URL. Okay, once you save it, 
this changes has to be reflected in the server so reload it and open the json file so yeah so here is the changes reflected fine now we'll upload this file into the jira cloud so i hope you are already in the manage apps page and uh, we click on upload app and we provide the atlassian connect.json url along with our ngrock server copy this paste and upload so it is installing it has installed and ready to go you click on apps and see my jira bot is available over here you click on my jira bot so it will load your application so here we have our bot available in the jira cloud so let's start by typing hi so it is replying me with hi and let's see hi connected azure bot with jira cloud cool thank you all